Boccioni will create the definitive work of futurist sculpture. Now, as a good futurist, he's looking at motion, he's looking at war, which you see here, but in this work, he's primarily trying to capture motion in metal, something that, of course, even Rodin tries, but has a hard time dealing with. Now, in Unique Forms of Continuity in Space, the artist highlights formal and spatial effects of motion rather than their source. So he's focusing on the motion itself, not the source of the motion like we would see in Rodin. The figure is so distorted and broken that it disappears in a blur of its own motion. The figure itself is actually doing something that we're all very familiar with. He's running. And what you're seeing is motion blur as if captured by a camera. Of course, once again, the human eye doesn't capture blur. So Bocini is taking these ideas from photography and, and incorporating them into his sculpture. So what you see is an attempt to capture motion in a static sculptural form. Now, when we look at some of the details, such as the face, you see a certain sense of abstraction, which of course, in a runner is a pretty good thing because that head is moving back and forth quite a bit in someone sprinting, even though, even if you're the one sprinting, you don't see it. Your brain kind of levels everything out and smooths everything out for you. And this will be symbolic of the futurist desire to capture the dynamic qualities of modern life. Now, how does he capture it? So let me pull up my pen and we'll take a look at that. Let me pull up my pen and take a look at that. As we look at it, you'll notice repetition. For example, here we see the back of the calf and the shin for this front leg. And the shin is repeated here, here, and here, as if it's being pulled back as the man is in motion. We see the same thing with the back leg where the calf repeats multiple times through the form, giving us that sense of a leg pulling back as it's going to move through its rotation back and forward. Even the hip, you see there's a swing to it that he captures in this swish-like form uh, moving across the middle of the body. The arm, of course, the shoulder wouldn't move much because it's the base of the pivot, but the arm itself is represented in two different positions, as if it's moving forward according to the rest of the form. So he's trying to capture that idea of motion blur, which of course you can't blur bronze, but he's trying to capture it through using cubist ideals, analyzing the form, giving us the form in its most recognizable positions, and doing it multiple times as if he's overlaying a picture of a runner one over the other, giving us multiple exposures in a sculptural form. 